Hello and welcome to AC Valhalla Mythical Weapons and Where to Find Them. I'm your Samaritan and I'll be showing you the exact location, how and when, yes, when to find all four AC weapons in the world of Valhalla, including Majolnir, Gungnir, Northern's Arc Bow, and the legendary Excalibur. Now, before we begin, my advice to you is to defeat every member of the Order, including Zealots, and finish all England story arcs, because in order to obtain all mythical weapons, you need to have finished the game's main story. Unless you don't want them all, then you can skip forward, find each weapon, how, where, and when to find them. First off, we begin with Excalibur. You'll find this mythical weapon at this very place, Hamptonshire in Meriden's Cave. Just don't be hasty. You can see the path as I go right ahead to claim Excalibur. But in order to be able to pull the sword from the stone, you need to complete all Caverns of Trials to obtain 8 tablets called the Treasures of Britain. They are some simple but fun parkour challenges that you can overcome easily, not so difficult obtaining them at all. And the other three you'll find carried by three zealots, Rufgar, Heike and Wooden I believe. And yes, there's a total of 11 tablets you need to obtain. And if you have all 11 tablets of 10 already, you can watch this video, follow the path as I go, and find Excalibur at the very end of this cave and claim your reward. So bear with me as we go through this. And here we are. This is where Excalibur is located. And as you go ahead, you can see one tablet has been provided beforehand. Yes, there's a total of 12 tablets, but don't worry about that one, it's already been there. So go ahead and place each and every tablet you've got inside these pillars. This is gonna take some time, so I went on ahead and skipped forward to the last tablet I placed inside the pillar. And as soon as you're done with this, you can turn around and see Excalibur glowing out, shining bright, ready for you to claim. So go ahead and pull it from the stone. Yes, dear Eivor, this is Excalibur. It's a badass looking crafted sword. And what's best about this weapon is its passive ability. Heavy final blows and critical hits with this sword blind all enemies around. So as soon as you claim Excalibur, I dare you to test it in battle against some Britons.
Next up is Nudden's Arc Bow. And there's a reason I put this weapon after Excalibur, because there's a little trick to obtaining it. And I'll tell you all about that. But first, you'll find the location of this bow, north of Yorvikshire, on this little island at this very lake right there. Now the trick is that you need to come here near sunset to break that rock right there. It cannot be crashed with any other weapon in this game than Excalibur, so remember that. Ah, it's already sunset. Let's test our lock. Remember that in order to break the rock, you need Excalibur, and you need to strike it exactly at sunset. There we go, a successful timing and blow. Now, to endeavor to acquire this bow is a little too much. Now, if you don't agree or agree with me, there's nothing very special about this bow, other than the passive ability. And the farther you are from the enemy, the more powerful your arrow will fly. And also, there's this glitch that you can use to obtain this bow. Um, I don't know much about it. I just thought I'd use the proper way to obtain it, but of course you can search the web for that glitch too. Now, about my favorite, Gunganir. Hmm. It's located in Norway, Hordefelk, at the far northeast of the map in that cave. That I didn't catch a name for it. Sorry. To avoid spoilers, just know that this is the near end of the story. Yeah, that's Zigurd. The ice looks fragile. Yes, it does. <laughs> ah, proven. Now, Zigurd might already know, but he keeps quiet about it. So you just go ahead and leave him. And when you reach the fork in the way, right here, you take the left, because right is for proceeding through the story. You take the left and go through this crack. I bet you hear the thunder. There, you can see Odin's mighty spear stuck in the wall. Now, there's no requirement for obtaining this weapon other than you have to come here at the end of the story with your brother. Otherwise, you won't be able to see or pick it up. But here we go. Ah, the mighty Gungnir. It's my favorite, and its ability is that the tip of the spear when reaching for enemies is extended by a force field, making it longer than any other spear you can find in the game. You can already see the force field, don't you? It's beautiful and powerful. Now the last, but not the least, Thor's mighty hammer in Mjolnir. It is located also in Norway, Hordefelk, at this very spot up there. Now, to be able and pick it up, you need to equip the entire set of Thor's armor. You can obtain three pieces by defeating Daughters of Lurian. One of them is in Grantabrid Shire, the other two are in East Anglia. You'll also claim their blades that can be used to open the Temple of Lurian, also in East Anglia, to obtain the helm. And the last piece, which is the cape, can be acquired only after defeating every member of the Order and bringing the last 15 medallions to hide them. And then he will reward you with the cape. And once you have the full set equipped, just like that, you can come here and the hammer will answer to you. Like Excalibur, every final blow of this hammer has a powerful effect. It is lightning, no surprise there. And every hit has a chance to stun the enemy. And with that, my friends, we are finished. And that was all my tickle weapons of England and where to find them. I hope you find this video useful. This is your Samaritan. Thanks for watching.